okay now that that part of the afternoon is over so i took my class on a field trip today and then i came home thinking i could maybe relax get a little bit of work done and um i am getting work done but it was a little bit stressful oh what's with the lighting mm. but anyway so if you didn't know before um we were having a few issues with our apartment um just things that it's not really under our control it's just the building's kind of old and just naturally it's wear and tear so the landlord had someone come in today to take a look at things they painted over it maybe you can get a hint for what it is then um, so they came painted over it and um it looks good um i can't see the problem that was there anymore so now i can wholeheartedly ooh, lighting changed dramatically there um i wholeheartedly focus and work on englishforwork.ca now. I'm really excited for this. Um, now, I can't blame my school for this. I can't blame EC because I love teaching there. I have amazing co-workers, amazing admin team, and an amazing boss. Um, but there's some things that I won't be able to do in a class setting that I would love to be able to teach, and I think there really is a market for it here in Vancouver. So, essentially, as the name says, English for Work, I'm going to be teaching, or I want to be teaching um, foreign professionals coming into Vancouver, or even if they've immigrated and they just don't have a great command of the English language yet, at least in terms of business, because those are completely different things, right? Everyday English, and then there's work English. I want to be teaching that and working on that with them and helping them get jobs that they deserve here, that they are qualified, they can actually do, but maybe there's a little bit shy, or the resume is not it's not Vancouver standard and it doesn't look right so it's easily discarded by HR. Um, I would know I studied HR and I've gone through those things and I know that if there's a huge pile and it looks even strange you might just be like, uh, never mind. If it looks good then yeah of course you'll look at it but if it looks out of the ordinary not your typical kind of resume you might discount it so I want to help them with that. So I'm developing the curriculum right now, I'm brainstorming, working through it and I'm so excited. Oh gosh, I don't know if it's translating through camera, but I am so thrilled and I really want to be teaching this, so I'm going to get back to work on it. And I just need to find a community center that I can host this at, um, because I want to have a class, so maybe about, I don't know, 8 to 12, I haven't really figured out what the number or the best number is yet, so I need to figure out, um, figure out a place. If you have an idea or you have connections with a um, community center or any sort of classroom space, I just need to make sure there is a whiteboard, something to write on, and a projector so I can show PowerPoint. Those are the things I really need. So if you know a place that is big enough and can be classroom appropriate for about 8 to 12 students, has an oh, oh, actually, overhead, please, just has a projector or I can at least bring a projector in and you do power, show PowerPoints as well as a board to write on. And it looks nice as well, hopefully, and not super drabby kind of old community centers. If you know of one, please let me know. Either email us to this YouTube account or leave a comment below, and I'll get in touch with you because I feel a pleasure, guys. A glass of Coca-Cola. forget how fizzy it is sometimes. So good, though, once in a while. Anyways, getting started on dinner. Excuse the no makeup thing. Skin hasn't been doing so well, so no makeup is probably better. Gonna make a random sort of Asian stir fry. Bok choy. Maybe a bit of leftover broccoli. We have leftover tofu and some zucchini from a few nights ago. And then this chuck flap tail. We get it for pretty cheap whenever we're at um Kim's Mart. Well, I think it used to be cheaper. It was four dollars this time for this, but. They used to give you a bit more, I don't know, maybe just bigger slices, I can't really tell. Anyways, before it looks all like this, all that random. Is the end product. Beef with tofu with the best soy sauce, and then zucchini bok choy with um, Easter sauce. How's it taste, Calvin? Oh, it's not bad then. Good, good, good. Itadakimasu! Um, HB, what's going on with this pose of yours? <laughs> now I'm um, reading. Okay. What you reading? The new app that I'm gonna try this for six weeks. Let's see what happens. 
Friday dinner usually means some sort of leftover-ish stuff. We had curry, but no whites, so udon curry it is. And then we have some shepherd's pie left over too. Hi. raining a lot more than I did last week and it looks near looks gnarly I'm hoping maybe if it rained a little bit we could still go but um on the website for the sea to sky summit trail it said it's gonna rain or precipitation 16 millimeters as well as um what do they call it um flash thunderstorms pretty much <laughs> so, oh Calvin your hair looks good today you sea dialed it to me, it looks good every day, but... You just styled it more this time. Oh, bumpy road. So I'm gonna go pick up Nobu and his girlfriend anyways, and then um, we're gonna go for brunch and decide what we're gonna do instead on this very, very rainy day. Calvin, what do you have? Uh, it's like an Irish skillet. It's got like some meat. I don't know who's good. <laughs> Nobu's got chicken and waffles for the first time. Yeah, it's my first time. Nice. And then Elisa has hey. waffles and berries. <laughs> <laughs> and I have something. All right. That's the most touristy thing here, guys. Checking out the steam clock. They just redid it. Looks really cool now. Nobu's got to fix his hair first, though. <laughs> hair first, yo. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs>
I just missed it guys. It was coming over from this side. And then Calvin just headbutted me with his helmet. No, I did. Yes, he did. What is this? It's a dragon. Oh. And it's got crazy eyes. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa and the bright pink over there. She's a tiny dot now. And then Nobu is the one over there, the other figure. I spy her color eyes some small Japanese girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did you get? I got a I got a Lon London fog, London old fashioned, and Calvin's got a tiramisu, which is going to be super messy. I can tell already. And then they've got chocolate. <laughs> Their first lucky donut. That's pretty good, guys. <laughs> Looks like a, such a lonely advertisement. <laughs> so much garbage. <laughs> we just had too much fun playing at the playground, I think. We're on some geocache hunt now. Let's see. You're around here somewhere. <laughs> Burnaby is a sister city of Koshiro in Japan. Did not know that. So learn something new every day. Whoa. Yeah, one does wonder how does a pizza sign get to the top of Burnaby Mountain? Probably some drunk kids at top. Drunk kids. Calvin, let's go. Come on. How steady is this thing to climb on? Wait. Oh, that does feel very dangerous. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks scary getting up there. Oh my gosh, I give it a little bit. <laughs> Some real big kids here, guys. <laughs> Oh <laughs> the whole thing's shaking, holy cow! <laughs> hey guys! How's it hanging? <laughs> holy cow, you guys are high up. <laughs> Them crazy big kids. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Polar. Hot and it's cold. <laughs> In and you're out. It's up and it's down. It's left and it's right. <laughs> no, that's not the lyric. <laughs> Those aren't the lyrics. Oh, it's I don't think Kelvin's got it right there. I don't know. I think Kelvin's got it wrong. Say that again, Kelvin? Yes and it's no. Up and it's left and it's right. <laughs> We're looking for a box.
Yeah, yeah warning, hot juice. That looks bumpy. Oh hey! This is good stuff guys. Takoyaki. Uh, Takoyaki. Show you uh, uh hot. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. It's our Chinese concert stick. It's a cage. It's a what happened to your <laughs> <laughs> a seizure inducing thing here. Alright. That was the, the airplane. <laughs>
OK， 今天的这个亚军的话呢，得奖的是。going on here. What? <laughs> Calvin's not having it. Calvin's like, I'm done. <laughs> I know. Thank you for being responsible, Calvin. What? Oh, that hair. <laughs> no, we should do it. Is that even legal? Yeah. <laughs> or this one? You should do oh, this one. Do this one. <laughs> so for some mullet. <laughs> For once, Russia closing the vlog. I'm gonna call it a night. It's been a long one. I think we had like a almost 13 hour day. I'm supposed to do laundry right now. It's a very long night. All right, good night, guys. See you in the morning.